What accident happened to Kate? Did you know that the main love triangle between Anthony, Kate, and Edwina was made up by Netflix? And were you aware that Anthony and Kate were forced to marry in the books? Today we'll compare all the differences between The Bridgerton Show and the books. The reason behind Anthony's trauma. We all know by now that the beloved Edmund Bridgerton passed away in a tragic accident involving bees. Season 1 already hinted on this being further explored in the following season. And the second season brought us a flashback of the actual incident, with Anthony being with him as his father got stung by the bee. He witnessed his father's final moments, and seeing all of this happen in front of his eyes traumatized him. However, in the books, Anthony only gets informed about his father's passing away and isn't there when it goes down. Still, both in the books and in the show, Anthony takes on the lead of the family and the title of Viscount. Not only does he become the head of the family, he also becomes fixated on time. We can't really see this played out on the screen, but in the books, after Anthony's father is gone, Anthony becomes very aware of his mortality and the passage of time. It's another driving point in the story as Anthony tries to find the future Viscountess as quickly as possible, convinced that he won't make it past 38 which is the age when his father lost his life. In the show, he's urgently looking for a wife, with no feelings attached. However, all of that changes after he falls for Kate. The drastic change. In the book The Viscount Who Loved Me, which is the book the second season is based on, we're introduced to new characters of two sisters, Kate and Edwina Sharma. However, in the books, they're named Sheffield and are a white family from England, with Edwina being described as a girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. In the show, the sisters, along with their mother, are South Asian, and they travel from India to England. The Sheffield name comes from their mother's maiden name, which was Mary Sheffield. She married a guy from lower classes that already had a child, which her wealthy parents rejected along with her. The child was none other than Kate, and after their dad passed away, the girls along with their mother Mary returned to England to find Edwina a husband. The link to the show was made by making them stay at Lady Danbury's house. The show made this change to showcase the inclusivity Bridgerton prides itself for. One of the producers of the show, Shonda Rhimes, commented on this change. I wanted to feel like the world we were living in was as three-dimensional as possible, and I wanted to feel like the representation was as three-dimensional as possible, too. Finding some South Asian women with darker skin and making sure that they were represented on screen authentically and truthfully feels like something that we haven't seen nearly enough of. After seeing the show, many people rushed online to speak about their excitement to see the representation on screen. One person tweeted, Being a South Asian woman and a literature student, it feels surreal to see brown female characters represented in Regency-era literature in mainstream media. The Made Up Love Triangle While watching the second season of Bridgerton, we were all at the edge of our seats watching the love triangle between Anthony, Edwina, and Kate unfold. In an interview with Jonathan Bailey, who plays Anthony Bridgerton, he said, You can understand why he's drawn to both, and they're both drawn to him in turn. It's an interesting love triangle. It's dangerous when it's siblings. It's bestial between them in a way season one wasn't. They're all animals with each other. Enemies to lovers is extreme. Anthony didn't look for a wife out of need for love, but a need to settle down and have children that would continue the Bridgerton name. Edwina was looking for her true love, and Kate was just trying to secure the best match for her younger sister. All of this turned out to be way messier when Anthony developed feelings for Kate, as Edwina was charmed by him. However, Edwina realized what was truly going on between her sister and the Viscount before it was nearly too late and called off the wedding. She stepped back, realizing she needs to choose her future husband based on what she wants. This triangle played out way differently in the books, or to be more precise, it didn't even happen. Netflix made it up to create more drama and to draw the viewers in. First and foremost, in the book, Anthony was only counting Edwina for a long time, but never made the move to propose to her. Kate and Anthony get together much faster as compared to the final episode of the show, as they're forced to marry by their mothers. Edwina takes a step back in the books and is reduced to being just a side character, whereas in the show she creates a love triangle by developing feelings for Anthony. In the book, she finds his courting amusing, but isn't smitten to the degree we saw on our screens. Kate's Secret Betrayal In the books, Kate is pressuring her sister to marry Rich just to secure a good future for her younger sister, but in the show there was a subplot of Edwina's dowry that was added to spice things up. Edwina's grandparents, the Sheffields, promised to give a sizable dowry to Edwina if she married a respectable man of position, which the Viscount Anthony Bridgerton was perfect for. And Kate needed that dowry for Edwina and her mom, since they were broke and used the last money to travel back to England. The Sheffields are not even characters in the books, barely mentioned by Mary in passing. The show drew out the Sheffields to be completely terrible people, starting with rejecting their daughter and still feeling the same resentment all those years later. All played out well in the end, despite Edwina and Kate's mom Mary feeling betrayed by Kate.
the infamous bee sting scene. Since the book fans saw the bee hint at the end of the first season, they've been buzzing with excitement. The bee involved in the story is pretty tragic, but there's one scene in Anthony's book that turns the story around. When he and Kate are in a garden together, Kate gets stung by a bee. In the show, this moment just creates unbelievable tension between the two. Anthony's fear of bees is understandable after he watched his father lose his life to a bee stinging him, so when he starts panicking, it's up to Kate to calm him down. She does so by placing Anthony's hand on her chest while reassuring him that it's just a bee sting and nothing is going to happen to her. While feeling their beating hearts, the two leaned in, just moments away from actually kissing. This scene is one of many tipping points that climaxes in several episodes later when Anthony and Kate finally kiss. However, in the books, this scene plays out in a completely different way. Not only does Anthony get worried sick when Kate gets stung as he's convinced she won't survive it, but he's convinced he needs to suck out the bee venom directly from her chest. He places his lips on Kate's chest, and what's even worse, they get caught in this very suggestive position by their mothers, Lady Mary and Lady Bridgerton. The two force them to marry to preserve Kate's honor, much like Daphne and Simon were forced to marry in season one. The two get married and only later start to properly get along. Netflix probably changed the plot to not have the same storyline repeat, and to fulfill the extreme slow burn they promised to the Bridgerton fans. Kate's heartbreaking backstory. Kate Sharma, played none other by Simone Ashley, stole our hearts. She was so beautiful, and her quick wit and banter with Anthony made us laugh out loud at times. The Kate we saw on the screen is pretty much the same as in the books, but there are still a few changes. In the books, Kate is 20, compared to being 26 in the show. She's way past the age to enter the season of marriage market, but she never had the intention to come to England to look for a husband. She wants to become a governess when she goes back to India after the social season is over. In the show, she's straight up opposed to getting married, but in the book, she's just saying that she doesn't think she'll find her match in the city as compared to someone she would find in the countryside. Another difference is that we only get glimpses of how complicated Kate's life got when both her mother and her father passed away. Kate and Anthony do bond over losing their fathers and taking over for their responsibilities, but Kate's mother is barely mentioned. Her fear of thunder isn't really given much weight, but in the books, the readers find out that Kate's biological mother passed away during a storm, creating a traumatic fear in her. The book talks about Anthony finding Kate during a particularly bad storm and staying with her through it as Kate uncovers her dark past. The Tragic Accident The book describes an accident less tragic as opposed to the one that actually happened in the show. In the book, it's a carriage incident that harms Kate while she's out with Edwina and Edwina's suitor. Kate comes out of this accident with a broken leg. Anthony takes care of her and realizes he loves her. The bigger difference is that by the point this accident happens to Kate, she and Anthony are already married. Kate's accident is much more dramatic in the show. As Kate is running away, she accidentally falls down from her horse, hitting her head and falling into a coma for a week. The week is horrible for Anthony as he's filled with worries and blames himself for the accident happening. With Kate being in a coma, Lady Bridgerton's speech where she tells Anthony to not lose Kate hits way harder. He also realizes that it's time to act upon his feelings before it's too late and asks Kate to marry him, but Kate rejects as she thinks he doesn't love her. Did you notice any other differences between the books and the show? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching!